Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So uh, this is a video series for Data Engineer SQL for Data Engineers. So that is a video series. And if you want to get the complete videos for SQL for Data Engineers, you can get the link in the description box of this video. Okay. So today we are going to discuss about this auto-generated numbers or I can say auto-generated values. So in if you take any query engines or databases like Oracle, MySQL or any modern query engines uh, like BigQuery or, or Hive or Redshift. So in all these places, we have the concept of generating values for a particular column automatically. Okay, so for example, so imagine I have a column serial number and I have a column name and I have a column age. So I'll be inserting values for only these two columns. For example, A31, B25, C70. So but the serial number I will not insert instead so the table itself will take care of generating values for this so this is what an auto generation number so for example some databases will have the concept of supporting this by creating a table itself but in some query engines it won't so the table the, during the create table you can't do anything but during you write some ETL, ETL queries where you have to take care of generating the values automatically for example I will tell you one uh, case where I've been worked before. So we have a, a query engine, a data warehouse, or I can say database come data warehouse, Redshift, which is in AWS. Okay. So in AWS, you have a concept of keyword identity. So now, for example, create table test, and I give serial number, integer, and I give identity. So that means when you insert some value for this table, so okay, I will add a one more uh, column, name, text that's it okay so now when you add something to it right so when you insert something you will be inserting value only for the name but not for the serial number so automatically the table will take care of it so now imagine there is few other modern query engines database like bigquery this is from google okay google bigquery it's just a equivalent competitor for redshift so in bigquery there is no such concept of a uh, keyword using like identity during creating the table so instead we have to generate this values automatically through a sql command only okay so now how to do that so you can uh, like the, the agenda of the topic itself right so it's like uh, uh, when when your sql query engine supports the auto generation uh, Thing by on its own while creating a table then it's fine completely fine I don't want to make this video but imagine there is few other databases and query engine which do doesn't support while creating the table but then during insert you have to take care of creating and queries which will generate automatic values for the column whatever you want to for example in this case serial number so let me go back to the practical part okay now if you see here I have three three uh, ways to do this but you have more than that it's it's like I'm just giving you a heads up with the three ways like how you can achieve this auto generated values but you have so many other ways also you can just explore based on the database or query engine which you are using fine so now imagine so all these are one okay I've just splitted it just for a better understanding this is one and this is the second one which is UUID and the third one is MD5 it's a hashing technique to generate an automatic value so you have three things let's go one by one so the very first thing is you can you can go with I'll just remove this concat keyword okay so row num over which is a window function so generally we for auto generation numbers uh, the databases which doesn't support by its own in that case we use row num over which is a window function which will create a number for each row so now I have a table test.account which has five rows when I run this command you can see one two three four five okay I'm getting it right one two three four five or what you can do is you can just use unix timestamp to uh, means you can generate a rows a values for that particular column with the current timestamp and you convert that to a unix epoch okay so when you do this so you are getting values here okay so since i'm using current timestamp uh, in the same interval right uh, within a microsecond the query has executed so if you see all my record has the same value okay so now i will tell you one more thing uh, before getting into this line number six i want to give you an use case okay now i have a case where i used to migrate data from uh, redshift to bq so i have redshift and to bq so we used to migrate the data from this to this okay or better uh, i'll i'll go with so I'll, I'll come back to this but now just imagine i have a file and i have a bq so for every hour i used to load a file to this bq table imagine so now it's time 10 okay so by 10 o'clock i am loading 10 files 
okay uh, 10 records sorry 10 records so i have a one file which is coming by 10 o'clock and it has 10 records i am storing it in bq so now i am getting my uh, column as name and age so here a b c etc so age is like 23 25 31 etc but serial number will be get populated automatically because i have handled it in sql imagine i used row num over so that means it will create 1 2 3 4 5 etc now again by 11 o'clock i am getting another five records okay which i have to insert into my bq now here again i am ha having name and age and then serial number and here the serial number we don't have the guarantee that again the row num will be generated unique for the next five records so it can come this way again one two three four and then eleven it can come this way so it won't start again from here first for ten records stored as five for the last is five right so next five records will not start from six seven eight that is not guaranteed here so the row number for each batch for each one hour you are executing the sql it is not giving you a, the guarantee of generating a unique number it it can again it may or may not generate the same number like one two three four which is already got generated in the previous batch now you have duplicate values for your serial number generally the auto generated numbers need to be unique always Okay, that is the concept because modern uh, DBs like BigQuery and even if you take high, we don't have the concept of primary key. Okay, so while generating this auto-generated number, we need to make sure that the numbers are unique. So now that is the reason what I am doing here is, so I am concatenating row number over with unique timestamp. So always it will be unique because when you take the first batch 10 a.m., the timestamp will be different. For example, you are getting something like this, uh, 1013078, okay, and then the row number is 1. I am concatenating 1, the row num, and then the timestamp. Now again, by 11 o'clock, you are getting the same row number which is duplicate, but the timestamp will be unique for sure right so it ends with seven nine just imagine so see the row number is same but the timestamp is different so i'm guaranteeing that always for every badge when the job runs even though the row number is duplicate when we are concatenating with the timestamp it will be unique so you can ask me whether i need to concatenate only with the timestamp no it's up to you you can add any values to it by the end okay make sure your own logic works fine by doing a poc and i cannot relay only you can ask me without using ronam can you use only the current timestamp but if you see here I, I used current timestamp i executed it you can see here same values right so within a second within microsecond your query got executed it means then all row will have a same so safe and side i'm using both now i'm running the query line number six and you can see here one two three four five and then the timestamp so it is unique even though it runs for the next batch the timestamp the the column id column will be unique this is most widely used concept for auto generating numbers where the database doesn't support on its own while creating the table now we have few more other options one is uuid universal uh, unique id you can use this as well but it is a, like it, it will be like alphanumeric and also we have hyphens and you have unique values you can see c b 18 39 59 75 it has unique values okay so if you want only numbers you can go with row number concatenating with some other integer columns or timestamp something like that and you have the concept of md5 which is hashing a value part of your table or again it could be a row num okay so what i'm doing here i'm using my row num concept but i'm just hashing it with md5 hashing algorithm so now I'm, i'll be getting unique values for each rows so row num over one okay for first record one the hash value md5 of one is the first value so you can use md5 also but make sure that with some level of uh, uh, records you create some level of records run badge by badge and see you are not getting any duplicate records of any function any any ways whatever the three ways we discussed you use any ways is still fine but make sure you are not having a repeated values okay so we have so many other ways but this is my uh, thing I've, I've just shared you only this three but you have so many other ways to create an auto generated values in a unique format now I'll, I'll come back to the use case so imagine i'm converting my redshift queries to bq also the data redshift in aws bq is big query now when it comes to auto generated value right imagine now i have a serial number which is auto generated and i have a name so here a b c is my name and auto generated value is 101 102 103 imagine now you migrate this to bq now your name column will be access a b c that is for sure but your auto generated values could be something like 1078 1111176 something so now many people used to get confused that my auto generated number from the redshift is not matching with the auto generated number in bq 
the question is itself is invalid see auto generated numbers differs from database to database so you don't want to worry about it even the, the numbers are changing you are downstream the people who is going to consume the data from you they have a very better understanding that auto generated numbers from the databases to databases is different only the concern is in that particular database the auto generated number should be unique so no one can able to compare these two columns after the migration if they compare it obviously it fails everybody has that understanding so one of my uh, my downstream a colleague asked me this like i have compared the serial number from redshift and serial number from bq and doesn't matching i said it won't match because it's an auto generated uh, values right it will never match for sure so don't worry about this particular comparison okay so that's all for today's video if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and for the, forward this to your friends and colleagues and i do have a big data video series as well so i have given that link also we do have more than 60 plus big data videos and you can have a look on it thanks for watching